Hi guys, this is Summer and welcome to my channel Purple Pebble. Today we are reading Walt Disney's Alice in Wonderland. It's a little golden book. Pictures by Walt Disney Studio and it's based on a story by Lewis Carroll. Let's start. Alice was growing very tired listening to her sister read. Just as her eyes began to close, she saw a white rabbit hurry by, looking at his pocket watch and talking to himself. Alice thought that was very curious indeed, a talking rabbit with a pocket watch. So she followed him into a rabbit hole beneath a big tree, and down she fell down to the center of the world it seemed. When Alice landed with a thump, the white rabbit was just disappearing through a door which was much too small for her. Alice drank from a bottle on the table and shrank away to a very tiny size. But now she couldn't reach the key to the little door. At last, Alice found a way to get through the little door. Seated on a bottle, she floated into Wonderland on a mysterious sea. On through Wonderland, Alice went, looking for the white rabbit. She met two jolly fellows, Twiddledum and Twiddledee. They did not know the rabbit, so Alice hurried on. At a neat little house in the woods, at last she met the white rabbit himself. The rabbit sent Alice into his little house to hunt for his gloves, but instead she found some cookies labeled Take One, so she did. The cookie made Alice grow as big as the house. What a sight! Rabbit and his friend Dudu thought she was a dreadful monster. Alice picked a carrot from Rabbit's garden. Eating it made her small again, so small that she was soon lost in a forest of grass. Alice found herself in a garden of talking live flowers. There were bread and butterflies and rocking horse flies too. Alice thought the garden was a pleasant place, but the flowers thought Alice was just a weed, so they would not let her stay. Next, Alice met a haughty caterpillar blowing smoke rings. He told Alice to eat his mushroom if she wished to change her size. Alice sampled one side and shoot up taller than the treetops, frightening the birds. But another bite made Alice just the right size. Now which way shall I go? Alice wondered. The signposts she found along the path were no help. They pointed all over. If I were looking for the white rabbit, I had asked the Mad Hatter, said a grinning Cheshire cat up in a tree. He lives down there. Alice found the Mad Hatter and the March Hare celebrating their unbirthdays at a tea party. She joined them for a while. After that nonsensical tea party, Alice wanted to go home, but none of the strange creatures seemed to know the way. Alice wandered into the Queen's garden. Soon along came the royal procession, and who should be the royal trumpeter but the white rabbit himself. The Queen of Hearts asked Alice to play croquet, but Alice didn't like the looks of the game. Off with her head, cried the Queen. Away Alice ran, while the army of cards gave chase down all the tangled parts of Wonderland and back to the river bank. I'm glad to be back where things are really what they seem, said Alice as she woke up from her strange wonderland dream. The end. If you have enjoyed this story, please click the like and subscribe button and don't forget to buy a copy for your home library to support the authors and publishers of this amazing book. Thank you.